Hi, I'm Taylor Hudak, spokesperson for Kiwi journalist Susie Dawson's One Versus Five I campaign. And I'm Christy Doff, spokesperson for the Unity for J campaign, co-founded by Susie Dawson. Susie is an investigative journalist and activist from Auckland, New Zealand, whose work has taken on the world's most powerful people, including the Western intelligence agencies known as the Five Eyes. Now, over the years, Susie's work has been shared by countless high-profile people, including Julian Assange and WikiLeaks. Due to her journalism and activism, Susie was extensively targeted in her home country of New Zealand. That targeting increased in severity over time and even included threats on her life. Due to the threat she was facing, Susie left her home country and traveled across the world to Berlin, Germany, but unfortunately she continued to be targeted there. So eventually Susie moved to Moscow, Russia, where she was finally safe from being targeted and applied for temporary asylum. As time progressed, Susie learned more about the targeting of her and gathered more corroborating evidence. So in September of 2019, Susie reapplied for asylum in Russia, presenting this new evidence along with her application. Unfortunately, Susie's application was declined, and although the decision acknowledged the receipt of the new documentation, it did not reference or address the content of that evidence. Susie's lawyers are now appealing that decision, but the appeals process can be a long one. So this leaves Susie's residential status in kind of a limbo. The fact is Susie needs asylum. She needs to be protected from the powerful agencies who want to harm her for her work. But she may not be able to get that protection that she needs without increasing public awareness about her situation. So Susie's attorneys have recommended that she make the evidence of her case public for everyone to see and evaluate. By studying this evidence, it will be clear to everyone that yes, Susie was severely targeted and that that targeting was a direct result of her lawful and democratic activism. And now she deserves to be protected from those who want to harm her. So that is why a team of activists have put together protectsusie.com, a brand new website full of resources for understanding Susie's case and helping us to protect her and her children and secure them a safe place to live going forward. And we need you to be part of that effort. Read the website, share the content, and sign the open letter calling for Susie and her children to be protected from the horrible state-sponsored attacks that she has been subjected to. High-profile supporters of Susie, including Christine Assange, mother of Julian Assange, internet entrepreneur Kim.com, CIA torture whistleblower John Kiriakou, and international human rights attorney Craig Tuck have already supplied letters of testimony endorsing her claims and requesting that she be protected. We are here now asking as many people as possible to sign their names in support. So please join us in helping to protect this brave Kiwi journalist and her family. Thank you.